Hello, today we're going to talk about uh, round cuts, which is something that uh, if you ever work with carrots, you should know. Um, we're going to compare a round cut versus a traditional straight cut and see why there are benefits for cooking carrots and such or cutting carrots and such um, in a round cut. So before we begin, we'll go ahead and do a straight cut with these. Um, they have a purple carrot. And so just a normal straight cut is how most people do it. And uh, I'll tell you the reasons why this is uh, not that great. I'll finish out the carrot, I guess. Let's see if I'm getting any of this on camera. Okay, so the reason why we don't traditionally try to square cut or straight cut a carrot is because when it's in a pan, it's very difficult to flip. Because on the flat side, it's very, very solid. So it's very difficult to get a piece of carrot to flip the other side. And I'll demonstrate real quick. I have, let me see if I can get this on camera. When you have carrots in a saute pan, how many have actually flipped? Take a look. They don't flip. And so you either have to manually flip, and they're going to be uh, cooked unevenly on both sides. Or you're just going to have unflipped car carrots. So what we're going to do today is teach you a um, what is known as a round cut um, or rotating cut. Uh, goes by several names, and we'll go ahead and uh, it's kind of dirty pan the bottom. All right. Um, so how round cut works? Let me see if I can try to get it so that uh, we make an initial cut. So we make an initial cut, and we're going to go ahead. Let's see, if we get this to show on camera. We're going to go ahead and rotate. We made that initial cut like this. We're going to go ahead and rotate that carrot. So we're getting some of the face. And we're going to cut. And we're going to rotate and cut. Rotate and cut. Rotate and cut. Now, one of the things you have to be careful of, the knife is over here and your fingers are over here. So do not go past where you're going to slice off your own finger. But rotate and cut. Rotate and cut. Rotate and cut. Rotate and cut. And as you get, we'll go through and do a little faster. And then I'll explain why we do this after I finish cutting this. So this is our um, round cut carrots. Now let's do a little bit of comparison, right? So here's our flat cut carrot and here's our round cut carrot. First, these have really, really sharp edges, right? Like this. And what's good about these is in a pan, when you toss them around, they will kind of chip and break. And that's where you develop your fond. Whereas this is flat and you're just going to get a burnt bottom. So there's not going to be a lot of fond. The fond, fond is the uh, leftover uh, bits on the bottom of a pan and that's where your flavor comes from. So that's number one. Number two, these are very unstable shapes. And so look at this one, right? And so what happens is, and we'll go ahead and demonstrate the difference, right? So we're going to take our round cut and throw them in a pan. And you look at how much more it jumps. And so you're going to get a much more even, uh, cooking surface, uh, uh, cooked carrot. Now the ultimate goal, let me see if I have one that's pretty good. Um, if you look up and I'll put a link or something in the description below or probably insert in the video here, um, what we want to get to is a, a shape of constant width. It might not look like it, but by and large, if you drew a center and took a triple integral, this would be very, very close. Um, and the goal of that is that way any surface I'm putting it on, when it cooks, we're going to cook through it as evenly as possible. And um, shapes of constant width are called uh, relio shapes. Um, and that's really the goal of cutting um, round cuts is we're trying to get relio shapes so it cooks evenly. We want sharp edges on the edge so when it breaks, it will create a fond and we want something that is easily tossable and moves compared to a flat cut. So I will do one more round cut for you guys and then I'll end the video.
we start on the small end, we make a cut, we take, we make sure we cut through the fascia of it, rotate, cut, rotate, cut, rotate, cut. Always be careful of not whacking your fingers off, right? So you, as I press the knife, before I push down, I got to make sure my hand is clear out of the uh, line of sight of the knife. And, uh, and that is a round cut. Thank you.